Hello, in today's tutorial we will learn how to draw curved lines using the pen tool. We will be tracing this path. If you would like to follow along, feel free to download this file. I included a link to it in the description below. First open a new document. Set the width to 1290 and the height to 860 pixels. After you download the attached file, go to File, Place, select the downloaded file and click Place. Now click on the top left corner and your file should fit into this document. Before you can trace this path, first go to Layers and lock the layer 1 with the file you've just placed. Next click on the Create New Layer icon from the bottom. And now you are ready to trace this path. First make sure to change the fill to None, then change the stroke to Bright Green and set the stroke weight to 14 points. Of course those are just settings for this particular example. You can change the color and the stroke weight to whatever you like. Now either press the letter P for the pen tool or select it from the toolbar panel. If your pen tool cursor looks like a crosshair, you can change it to a pointer by pressing the caps lock on your keyboard. We will start tracing this path from the bottom left corner. When you draw curves, try to add as few anchor points as possible. Single click at the bottom to set the beginning anchor point and release your mouse. Next click where you want your first curve to end, hold and drag. Try to match it with the bottom profile. You will notice we have two directional handles, also called Bezier handles. The next segment I draw will always follow in direction where the leading handle is pointing. So for example, if I set the third anchor point here, my curve will follow the leading handle and it will end at the third anchor point. Let's undo it. If I set the third anchor point up here, the curve will still follow the same leading handle and it will end up at this anchor point. And the same thing will happen if I set the third anchor point down here. Let's undo it. So if we want our next curve to follow the profile of the blue curve, we need to change the direction of the leading handle. To do that, first press and hold down the ALT key, now click on this handle, hold and drag it down. Next click on the third anchor point, hold and drag to match the profile of the blue line. Now press and hold down the ALT key, then click on this handle, hold and drag to readjust the curve. Right now the third anchor point shows only one Bezier handle. To see the other one, go to the Direct Selection tool and drag a box around this anchor point to select it. We can see that this leading handle is pointing into the right direction. To continue the path, first switch to the Pen tool and then click on the end of the existing path. Now click to set the fourth anchor point, hold and drag. Our next curve is similar to the second curve. If I set my fifth anchor point down here, the path will follow the leading handle and I will end up with this curve. To change the direction of the leading handle, you could either use the same method like we did before or, while holding the ALT key, you can click on this anchor point to delete the leading handle. And then click on the last anchor point, hold and drag. However, this method is not going to work in this case. No matter how I move the handle, I won't be able to get the curve to match the profile of the blue segment. Now it would be useful to have the other Bezier handles visible. To bring them back, we will use the Convert Anchor Point tool. First click on this anchor point, hold and drag. 
Next, using the Direct Selection tool, press and hold down the Alt key, click on the handle Hold and drag to adjust the curve. And do the same with the other handle. Press and hold down the Alt key, click on the handle Hold and drag. And do the same with this one as well. Using the pen tool can be frustrating at the beginning, but the more you practice, the better you will become. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.